Laila de Lima is arrested Friday morning. De Lima surrenders to the Philippine National Police Criminal Investigation and Detection Group Friday morning after a Muntinlupa trial court judge issued an arrest warrant Thursday afternoon. De Lima steps out of the Senate building to voluntarily yield to authorities. One of the Lima's co-accused, her former driver Ronnie Dayan, was arrested Thursday night in Pangasinan. The Lima's lawyer Alex Padilla says they plan to bring the case to the Supreme Court later during the day. The Lima's arrest is the culmination of a five-month high-profile investigation of her alleged links to drug lords detained in the state penitentiary. She says charges were fabricated by the administration to silence her. The Lima earlier led a Senate probe into the alleged involvement of President Rodrigo Duterte in extrajudicial killings in Davao City when he was mayor, but that probe cost her her leadership of the Senate Justice Committee. Malacanang welcomed the arrest as a major step forward in its war on drugs. While Liberal Party politicians and sectors supporting the Lima say it's simple persecution. Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez says the Lima's arrest is proof that the country's judicial system is working. But Vice President Lenny Robredo slams the arrest and accuses the Duterte administration of circumventing due process to silence the Lima. Robredo says, quote, our history as a nation is marred by instances where government officials use the processes of criminal justice to cow, silence, and eliminate critics. Robredo also warns the public to be vigilant and hold the government accountable for its actions and to fight for the right to speak dissent. The eldest daughter of President Rodrigo Duterte slammed Lingay and the Gupan Archbishop Socrates Villejas for saying her father single-handedly defaced the memory of the Edsa People Power Revolution. She says that Villejas is truly, madly, deeply worse than a hundred President Duterte's. Sara Duterte said her father understands the significance of the 1986 revolution, recalling how on that day he had told his children never to forget the event. Villejas wrote a letter to Edsa Revolution icon Jaime Cardinal Sin posted on the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines or CBCP website. The CBCP president wrote, The glory now flickers in the darkness of fear and terror again. The songs of peace now drown by the cuss words of hate that invite murder. The bloodless revolt now stained by the blood in our streets and street gutters. Though she recognizes the importance of the Edsa Revolution, Mayor Duterte says, you preach about freedom as if you invented it, as if it is your gift to us. Let me tell you what freedom is. It is to live a life that is free from your selective moral standard. This is what the meaning of EDSA is. Critics of the Duterte administration, including Vice President Lenny Robredo, expressed disappointment over the simple and quiet EDSA revolution anniversary being held this year. But the palace has said the government is not downgrading the celebration. The University of the Philippines Board of Regents approved a proposal to adopt Project Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards, or NOAA, five days before the country's flagship disaster management program is set to end. UP confirmed in a statement on its website the program will now fall under the office of the President in UP. President Danilo Concepcion said in a statement, the project's benefits go far beyond its research value. It has literally been a lifesaver for millions of Filipinos threatened by natural disasters. It deserves a new lease on life, and UP is happy to welcome it into its fold. Project NOAA Executive Director Mahar Lagmay said in a text message to Rappler, UP is an interdisciplinary community and will make the perfect home for us.